Any new brakes, Riggs? All right, come here. I found a new dent in the cylinder of the gun from the crime scene. Now, I cross-referenced that with the manufacturing details from the shipping logs and found one accident, a jackknife on the south end of Ramona Boulevard that could have caused the damage. Now, I traced the distribution of the guns in that truck to about 200 stores in Pinellae County. So, if we were to- or he could have just dropped it. Face it, Riggs. You've been going at this case for seven months, kicking like a wild dog. You've been abandoned so many other cases for your own goals. I hate to say it, but you've become a nuisance. But I... I don't want to hear it, Riggs. We're worried about you. I'm worried about you. So, for our own good and for yours, we gotta let you go. With this place packed up by tomorrow morning, I gotta take your badge. It's been a pleasure working with you. I'll see you around, kiddo. Bartender, what's my juicy? Straight up. Please. Come on, bud. This is your fifth one tonight. I'm sure. That's some strong stuff you've got there. That kind of hooch is usual for the down and outs. Maybe I am one of those down and outs. Who are you to say? I just hate seeing such a well-to-do man drowning himself like this. If you think I'm a well-to-do man, we don't know each other very well, do we? Why are you even here? Can a girl start a conversation with a man at a bar without seeming like a floozy? What's bugging you? I don't know about you, but I don't typically pour my heart out to strangers. Especially when I'm drunk. Did you ever pour your heart out at all? Fine then. Have a good night there, mister. And try not to, uh, jump the gun on your opinion of me. Jump the gun, eh? Oh, this wrong. It was a decoy. Keep the change. I, uh, I need help with something. This symbol mean anything to you? Who the hell do you think you are? Coming to my store in the dead of night asking about all these symbols and pictures? Get out of here! Hey, I ain't a cop. See? No badge, no nothing. You can pat me down, the hell I care. Just help me out. This symbol. Anything about it relating to a gun. Please. It's, it's important. Alright, alright. Don't go getting all upset. I may know something about that, uh, emblem. Look, come here. Go see this guy. 
His name's Kowalski. He knows more than I would about what gun this was engraved onto. You know, he usually runs a special orders around this part of town. Tell him Dave sent you. Oh, and if you get caught, and you point the finger at me, I'll deny everything, you hear me? Kowalski! Who's asking? Cool it! Guy Riggs, Dave sent me? I'm looking for information about a special order with an insignia on it. Dave sent you? What's he doing sending sketchy people in trench coats at this hour? What do you want with this? You ain't some sort of gumshoe, are you? No. I'm just looking for something. On my own. I swear, I won't drop the dime on you or anything. Just help me out. It's about my wife. Please. Well, even if you want to pair on me, you couldn't. See, I just I just take the orders, I don't distribute. You want the distributors, you go down to East Magnolia and Sepulveda. You tell Johnny there I sent you. And then he'll help you out. But you'll come back here again. You hear? Carisi, is that you? That latest shipment you got me, it was bunked. The firing pins were all jacked up. Good evening. Chilly out, isn't it? Who are you? Uh, yes, it is a good evening. Hey, don't bother trying to hop it. All I want is some information. No strings attached. Hand to God. By the way, Kowalski is the one who sent me over here. Oh, Kowalski sent you? You should have said so earlier. I haven't seen this design since... Listen, pal, I, I don't know who you are, but you're getting involved in some sticky business if you go looking after this guy. I don't care for your warnings. Now, who bought the gun with this insignia on it, and where can I find him? Well, first of all, he doesn't buy the guns. It's his signature emblem, so to speak. He goes by the name of Ace. Nobody knows his real name except his own damn mother. Nobody alive, anyways. He's a hitman for the Mafia. Look, you sure you want to go after this guy? Alright. Last I heard, he was messing around in an abandoned warehouse down at Klesma Street. Thank you. You got a wife for kids? Just tell him you love him before you walk in there. So, you're the famous ace, huh? I've heard a lot about you. Now, you're gonna answer my questions or else you're leaving this place in the coroner's van. Now, who hired you? I think that's enough questions out of you, detective. It's just Riggs now. Well, that means there won't be any backup when this gun goes off. Such a shame. Rudy, get out of here! So it's you, then? The media calls me Ace. It's Mickey. It's my friends. Mickey, Mariano, Lombardi, Buianchi, Maggiano, Risotto, Piani! To my targets. Did you tell Effie that? How did you find out about this place? It was Miss Winters, wasn't it? I'll deal with Nora later. But you're getting way too close! And you're a liability. The boss doesn't want me giving anything away, just in case. Did that include your name? Huh? Damn it! Now I'll ask you, who hired you to kill Effie? Nobody, all right? What are you talking about? You're a hitman, you don't kill for sport. All right, I'm the one who put the bullet in your wife's head. But that was only because she was smooching the guy who was aiming it! What? They were together that night. I thought that I could make the shot, but I missed. 
I, I know I messed up. So I threw the decoy gun and ran. Don't bother with the other guy. I got him the next day. His body's in the bottom of the ocean. You're lying. I promised you that if I was, I'd make myself look a lot better. You're lying! Yeah, you she could never leave you behind like that, could she? So I'm the one who killed the broad that betrayed you. Aren't you gonna thank me? You seem to have a lot on your mind. What do you care? Why are you even here? I heard about what happened, and I wanted to check up on you. You know, I never even told you my name. Let me guess. Nora Winters. How'd you know her? We've been going steady for a, a few months. He never told me about his business. But I would notice the odd hours and the times he would stay up late washing his clothing. I once overheard him talking on the phone with his boss about a job, and they were being vague, but it didn't take me long to put two and two together. I wanted out, but he wouldn't let me see, so I took his gun and I threatened to kill him. After that, it was pretty clear he had a vendetta against me. He was too stubborn to let me go, but he hated my guts. And I hated him right back. You used me. I wanted him to be brought to justice. And I thought a great detective with a grudge could do that. I didn't know you'd already fallen so far from grace. Did you kill him? Well, are you happy? See you around, Briggs. <laughs>